back again. Uh, a couple days ago, I put out a video carving uh, this fella here, and it was just uh, on the fly carving, just made up as I went, and that's what I came out with. So that video was short and sweet and uh, really high high paced, and uh, a lot of complaints, a lot of uh, people wanted me to to uh, do the full tutorial, but. To be fair to other people, you know, once in a while I'm going to throw these out there because A, I don't have to do a lot of prep work, I'm just making something and uh, I enjoy that too, and B, sometimes people don't carve and they just like to see something emerge from a block of wood. So that's why I like to do that once in a while, but anyway, we had done a, a real super simple Santa a year and a half, maybe two years ago now, and uh, it was very basic. So. Well, this guy with the jacket and the uh, the nose and the arms and whatnot, I guess it's warranted to do another uh, tutorial on a snowman. Maybe we'll we'll up our we'll up our snowman game every year. But of course, now I gotta teach you, so I had to do a couple more, trying out a couple different features. So I changed a few things. I gave uh, like this guy here. He's a little bit more more proud in the chest, a little bit more puffed up. Uh, Let's see the bottom one's got more of a ball on the bottom and this one's just kind of flows in the ground and the different hats I made this hat that hat but anyway I learned a few things I got it nailed down for dimensions and and whatnot so I can uh, show you so without further ado let's get cracking five inch block of wood I'm using an uh, inch and a half square basswood all right so let's go this one here is going to be a little bit different than others I've done in the past. In the past I've uh, always added the nose by drilling a hole and punching it in. These ones here are uh, smaller noses but uh, it's all one piece with the wood. We're just using one piece of wood, we're not going to add nothing. So we're going to work off of the point of the wood. So really this is the front on the corner, alright? So a five inch Ouch. Five inch piece of wood. I'm gonna mark it in half right off the bat. All right. So we can put a line. That line we can put around all four sides. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, since nobody has an attention span anymore, I'm always gonna get you started, and then either I'm gonna speed it up or just jump. I'll show you a couple sides and then skip whatever. If it's the monotonous, if it's the same kind of cut, I'll either speed it up or I'll jump cut it. But anyway, we're going to. Uh, cut that right in half and that half signifies the bottom is the body and then the top is the head and the hat so it actually works out really good body in the bottom hat and head on top all right but just to get started we can uh, mark that all the way around halfway and then again with the half we got two and a half inches so at an inch and a quarter on the front here that is going to be the bottom of the hat. All right. Now we know that that's an inch and a quarter. To get that angle of the hat on the back, we're going to take that down to about uh, even half of that. You know, if that's an inch and a quarter, say you know five eighths, roughly five eighths, three quarters, whatever. But we're going to end up with that angle. But we're not going to draw that on right now because we're going to do a lot of uh, rounding and whatnot, okay? And then through all of this, we're going to protect in the center of the head. We're just going to protect this little corner here, give it about three eighths, and that's going to end up being the nose point that we're going to use. So while we're rounding everything else, we're going to protect that little corner, okay? So right off the bat, we're going to take our knife on the half mark and just... Uh, separate the body from the head. Now we've got lots of play here so we can go really deep. If we've got a V-tool you can use a V-tool too to get started and then dig in. But all right. If you got a safety glove get your safety glove on. I know, I know, I know. But it'll save you a lot of cuts. Especially for beginners. So, like I said, we've got lots of lots of room to play here. So let's just go around and just dig that in. We can probably dig that in up to 
three eighths of an inch. Okay, yeah, that's what all the way around. And the up width right there, like I said, that's that's dug in pretty deep, and like I said, we got lots of play. All right, so let's take the uh, the top of the hat part here. Let's just dig that in a little bit, just so we don't lose that line. Okay, but what we're going to do on the sides here is, uh, like I said, we got lots of uh, lots of play here. So I'm just going to go around there and take all these corners off, almost rounding the whole top, with the exception of that part at the nose. All right. So even here, so we got that line. So we're just going to kind of slightly round everything. And this is just the beginning. There's going to be a lot more. But we just want to get everything kind of in place before we fine tune it. All right. Now we can bring that right down. Right down the, the shoulders, really. All right. Now, like I said, with that hat, we can dig that hat back in again. Let's uh, mark the back again, where we think it is. Like I said, it's about three quarters off of the, the neckline and just kind of get a line that goes around Join her up like that, just like so. And the same thing, just gonna go all around that and we're gonna dig it in, remembering that this head is gonna be a ball. So we got lots of, lots of room to play. We don't wanna go too deep because we're gonna add a brim to the hat, but uh, if we can get it in that deep, all the way around, then we're doing good. All right, I'll see you on the other side. So now that we got that uh, hat, the bottom of the hat set in place, let's go around and give it, uh, well, let's say a quarter inch all around the whole hat again. And we're going to do the exact same thing again. We're going to dig it in and then cut it down. And I think the kind of hat that we're going to carve today is that uh, top heavy hat like this. So you can see the, bot the bottom is narrower and it kind of flares up and there's going to be a ribbon on there too. So step one is give it that quarter of an inch before like we're going to end up getting that deep enough but then we're going to slice the brim up into it. But for now, we just want to set that uh, quarter inch depth all around. And we can go a little bit higher and come down. All right. So there you, say you can reach it almost to the top of the hat and pulling it down. Start low, up, up, up. All right, and that gives us that little swooping bit. all the way around and then once we get that nice and neat we'll uh, give it the top angle see this here so this is a flat top well that doesn't match so we want the top of the hat to match that angle all right so I'm gonna cut that down like so it's a good a good test if your knife is sharp because if you can cut end grain like that, it should have a real a shine on that end grain. That's how you know your knife is nice and sharp. We're just going to come down to match the, uh, the angle of the hat. Get rid of all the saw marks. I'll just take that corner off too while we're up there. While we're up 
there. Alright. Let's go around and clean it all up. Make it look nice. Nice sharp edges everywhere. Nice, no dirty little fuzzies left. Okay. Then we're going to take that edge and we're just going to come up just on a bit of an angle. Give it that little swoopy feel. If that makes any sense, a swoopy feel. Just kind of rolling that knife, leaving about an eighth of an inch on the bottom and coming up. clean that all up and then uh, we'll put the, the hat band on while we're at it. So there's our, our hat. Nice and neat. A little bit of a roll on the edge. All right. Hat band is going to be the same step as we've been doing it with everything else. About three, three sixteenths or so, quarter inch, whatever. We're just going to cut in and we're going to cut down, leaving that band, we're going to go around the whole hat like that again, one more time. And that's uh, that's the idea for the hat band. Now I like putting a hat band on these hats because you can add, if that's a black hat, you can add a red a red band to give it some extra extra color in life. So I'm going to go around the whole hat like that and uh, yeah, then we'll move on to shape the body a little bit. There's our uh, our hat. All done. We never have to touch the top again. Okay. So now we can, uh, this little spot that we're protecting, we can just kind of take a center point to that and roll it up under the hat. And let's just do that all the way around. And what we're going to do is we're going to round, we want this head as round as we can make it back into the shoulders. Just by doing a bunch of, uh, Cuts all around, up into the hat, underneath the hat, I should say. Just keep rolling it around. Same thing down this way. I want a nice sharp edge under the chin. And where the shoulders meet the uh, the head, where the head meets the body, I should say. All right, real deep. Get right in there, and one thing that uh, a lot of newer carvers, and I'm no different, but uh, always afraid to dig deep. But the deep cuts are what gives the real good shadows and takes away all the the squareness to your carving. So if I'm looking at that, I would say that's pretty much round as three sides go anyway. The front nose we'll save that for after the, the body. But see that we got a nice round Nice round head on the back side at least. And let's just move on to the uh, the shoulders. Both sides here. Actually, let's take this uh, the body midway. We're going to do the same thing. I'll do the front. It'll be the same in the back. Halfway of the body. Bring that right up. And get that tucked underneath the, uh, the chin there. Just round it right over right now. Pretty much what we're doing on the front, we're going to do the exact same thing in the back. Okay, so that's there. 
And we'll do the same thing. Not as drastic. Like I said, this one here, I've got a real curve down. This one here is kind of like he's a uh, part of the snow, standing on the snow. Like that. So it's up to you if you want to round it. That's your options anyway. And again, as much as you want to bring the chest in here, is the difference from a little bit proud chested on this guy and the difference on this guy, how oh, it comes back up. So it's really preference. I think we'll just kind of mesh the two. It's either preference or it's uh, however you end up <laughs> by mistake or not. All right. So. I'm going to keep on rounding that over like that and now I'm going to do the exact same thing on the back side. Now we got our body shape in the front and the back. These little points on the, uh, the sides, let's just flatten them right down and give yourself a little bit, uh, I'll make it a healthy quarter, three eighths flat on the side. See that? Take the points off the sides. And we're going to get our, get our little marker again here. And we're going to come in, oh, let's say a quarter inch on each side from the flat. All right. Same thing on the back side. Okay, and now we need to decide where our pockets are going to be. Okay, so let's bring those arms down. Wherever we start is the length of the coat because we need a bulky pocket still. All right, so we can come up a little bit higher even. I'm just kind of join that up with the back. Same idea on the side. Okay. Make sure they look somewhat similar. A little bit high. Okay, now what we're going to do is I'm going to take a, a V-tool here, a bigger V-tool. This is a, a half inch Drake V-tool and we're just going to do the rough out. Just like that. You can use your knife for sure. The only reason I'm going to start doing this more is if you see here you see how that's so nice and clean? When you start trying to cut that inside with your knife all the time, you can do it fine, but then when you go back and do it again, you'll make another cut line beside, or you go deeper or not deep enough, right? So when I finish this elbow, it's going to be with the knife, and it's going to be a one-time cut. But in the meantime, I can gauge where I am with the, uh, the V-tool, and I don't do any damage as far as extra cuts go, right? So we're going to come across here, up the back, all right? So, showing that up. You know, let's, let's see your rough, roughing out an arm. And that is very rough. Back again. Showing that pocket over. Before we go finishing these arms, 
what I like to do is see how that square shoulder like that so now that looks like that's really high but when we go like this and bring that same round around the sides we drop the shoulder length and then we put those little creases pretty much where they belong again see how much we lowered that compared to this side just by bringing that around Now, again, it's still rough, but these lines here now are pockets. I'm just going to cut them in straight across. We can go past a good eighth of an inch on both sides, cut that in like that, and now that's set. That pocket is set. Same on this side. And come across and come down. And there again, the pocket is set. Bring that arm into the pocket, take out the extra this way, and come down in that little uh, V that we cut, come across into the pocket, we can just take your knife, and see how much better that is, that's one, one cut, I know that for me, I used to always do a whole bunch of multiple cuts, trying to get it right, and then uh, ends up looking ugly. Extra cuts. Okay, let's just focus on one arm for now and then I'll do the other one to match because like I said before, I'm going to try and keep these videos a little bit shorter because I know some people say, oh I can watch it for an hour but I get the analytics for the videos and that's just not the case for everybody. <laughs> so, try and get as much information in the shortest amount of time would be ideal. Right. Okay, so we got our pocket there. We got lots of marker on there. But clean the marker off. cut out of there. That shows that the hands are actually going into something. it on the other side and come back. Let's take stock of our little man here. We got the arms all set, the back, see how that's a sharper one. This is the V cut. So we always want to just go in there and just make one little line in there like that. Make a real nice little deep little cut. You see how that just sharpened that up in there? Same thing this way. One little cut, it just really highlights that little area there. See that? We should do that on all the little little cuts. See, this one's not done either. The V tool is good for getting it out, but you just want to finish it with one nice deep little sharp cut. See that opens it right up. Anyway. We left the nose alone, but we got our arms in, we got our body kind of plum shaped in the bottom. So now, we got a real flat spot right here at the hands. Oops. But I want the hands to really have that feel of there's some bulk in those pockets. So, I can't really uh, take too much more away from the, the bottom of the pockets. But I want it. A little bit more bulk in there and I guess at this point not much more I can do about it 
but you want the illusion that those hands are filling the pockets so if we can get this in a little bit here get a little bit out but let's draw the, uh, the jacket now we have a couple different jackets here All right. this one's a little bit lower a little bit higher and lower but I'm just going to uh, the main thing I'm going to start with is I want to get enough room for those hands to be in the pockets that's the, my biggest thing so if the arms were a little bit shorter you'd have more room underneath but anyway we also want enough space between the jacket so we can get our knife in there and then however you want to come around we can go a little bit lower here bring that up like that we can bring the back up a little bit if we want a little little curve in there All right. and then we're gonna add a little little collar Cut out that jacket. So now I'm going to think about the collar right now. I'm just going to outline the the jacket a little bit deeper at the top and leave some space for that collar. Right. Nice and deep the first time. Again, you could have started with the V tool. But I'm just going to bring that up. Hopefully, only one time. All right. Take the center part out. Okay. See that? here with the marker. I'll just take that edge off of there. Pretty simple, but it's a satisfying uh, cut. but uh, that's what we're going for yeah. collar pretty simple just gonna come down as I said I made that a little bit deeper on top and then we cut up into it all right same thing just make that collar all the way around Let's have a look at this guy before we go any farther. There's jacket. All right. 
I did that extra little cut on the inside and really set that set that coat right in place. All right, set that up the side. All right, so our head hat is done. Our body is done. So we got to attack this little point here. All right. So let's just kind of find a center point. Let's just kind of dig right in there. Cut down. All right. Take that out a bit of an angle both ways. See it? And cut down. Dug your hands in the way, I know. Try. It. See what we just did there? Okay. Let's let's uh switch positions here. Okay, we're just working our way on this nose here. Get a little bit of an angle cut going. All right. And the same flat above it. That's really just sitting in the shelf for our eyes. All right. So the same thing, we're going to go down a straight cut there. Now we're not going to go full carrot. See, which one? This one here I had done. I painted that black like a chunk of coal first, but I didn't like the look of it. So, I'm going to do that angle again. So we're kind of going half carrot that was the point so we don't I'm gonna take that point right off of there because it's, it's just too much all right we just want to get that same flow of the round snowball head underneath of it so that the same we want the same roundness all the way around But we need to uh, set the sides in as well. So we'll just kind of go a little bit on each side. Knock that out. Straight down. Knock it out. All right. Now we can do that angle again. I'm just going to kind of round the base of it a bit. And then cut up to it. Clean her out. Like so. That's about all we're going to do with the nose. Yeah. Okay. So let's round that around. And then we're going to reset that uh, eye shelf here. A little bit deeper. And it's okay if that's a bit of a back angle too. not bad. The thing here where the nose joins the shelf is if we can just kind of put a little cut in there and that gives us our color when we paint. We just need that little little separation to uh, if there is no cut you couldn't change colors cleanly. If that makes sense to you. All the while Rounding that. Alright. Okay. Let's draw some eyes on there. We're going to go with our little uh, cartoony eyes again. Now, you can go ahead if you want. You can put eye, eyebrows and eyelashes. What do you call them? No. Eyelids. Eyelids or no eyelids. That's what I'm trying to say. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to do one open eye. 
you can split them down the center. I'm not going to do that either. I'm just going to cut that right out of there with my hand in front of the camera for effect. So when my hand is in front of the camera and everybody squawks, I see that. I don't think I don't see that. But that's in the editing portion of making the video. And uh, you can't go back. <laughs> you just you can't go back and redo it. So I am aware. But when I see it, it's in the editing process. And uh, there's nothing I can do about it except for anticipate the, uh, the comments. All right. Just so you know. Alright. I love these eyes. Over Christmas I was doing a lot of Santa Clauses with real detailed eyes. And uh, I'm happy to say, at least I figured them out. But at the same time, they're uh, a lot more difficult. Alright. Gonna give him a big, uh, a big smile. Gonna cut that in there. Nice and deep. I'm going to cut my, my marker line off of there. So right now, my knife needs to be stropped. I got two cuts left. I can, but you can feel it. So when you don't be afraid to stop carving and go and strop your knife, because that's where I am right right now. So when we do a smile like that, I always like to put a little chip cut on the end just to kind of, it just kind of ends the, what am I saying, ends the uh, smile. See that little chip there? Eyeballs. I think we just about got them. I've, uh, you can paint on uh, some buttons. Put a little matching little cuts on that side. I, uh, this one here, I drilled in some dowels, stuck some dowels in there. Or you can carve out some nice little round ones. But Whatever you do on the one side, I like to just put a little, little cut on this side, just for the uh, the button holes. Doesn't have to be much. The paint really highlights these for you. So if you just put these little, little cuts like that in there, All right? And like I said, you can paint the buttons. You can put dowels in or you can carve them out, but today we're not doing neither. <laughs> My shoe brush here. Got one little chip that doesn't want to come out. Alright. 
All right, guys, there is our snowman with jackets, arms, and pockets. Experiment with them. You can uh, change things up. If you want a taller hat, add an inch. But uh, yeah, take your time and uh, have fun with it. There seems to be, I get a lot of messages and people try something once and uh, they give up and say, oh, I'm no good. But uh, you know what? I'm just on to this now. I just made four of these in two days. So I think this is my best one. So like I said, just relax, enjoy the hobby, take your time, and uh, I hope this helps. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. But I threw a uh, whole Gwen on my lap here. Someone asked about her and how she's doing. So here she is. Finn's outside right now, but uh, we brought her in for cute sake. Now, I play all tough guy with uh, Finnegan, but don't tell anybody. But when no one's looking, I cuddle this little puppy because it's a live little teddy bear and it's so stinking cute so that's it all right see you next time hey. Hey.